Adding end screens to your YouTube videos can help you to get more views and more subscribers on YouTube. So in this video, I will show you how to add an end screen to your existing videos and while uploading a video on YouTube. The first thing you should know about end screens is that they have some limitations. You can only add an end screen to the end of a video, more specifically to the last 20 seconds. And the duration of an end screen can only be between 5 and 20 seconds. End screens are mostly being used to redirect the viewer to another video, but you can also include a subscribe button or a playlist, a channel, and even a link on your end screens. But they also have a limitation. You can add up to four elements at maximum on each end screen. My suggestion here is that not to include too many elements on your end screens because it confuses the viewers. Try to add one or maybe two elements at maximum for a better engagement. By the way, I have a newsletter where I share content specifically for beginner content creators. You can sign up from the link below for completely free if you are interested. Okay, now let's see how to add an end screen to your videos, both ways for your existing videos and while uploading a video. So while you are uploading a video on YouTube, go to the video elements, click on the add button and you should see this screen. Here, YouTube gives you different formats you can pick for your end screen or you can add your own elements. Let's choose this format for example, one video and one subscribe. And we can see the placeholders here and here. If you prefer, you can change their positions and customize them like this. You can resize your elements, but the elements cannot overlap each other. Here below, you can adjust the duration of your elements and you can decide when they should appear within the last 20 seconds of your video. If you click on the element button here, you can add additional elements. Let's add a playlist, for example. It will take you to the playlist screen if you have any. Let's choose this one. And now I am adding here a third element. And when you click on the video element, on the left side, it gives you three options. If you choose the first one, always your most recent upload will appear on your end screen. If you choose best for viewers, then YouTube will choose the video that will appear here. And if you choose the specific video option, then you can select one of your own videos. When you are ready to add your end screen, don't forget to click on the save button. And the second way is adding end screens to your existing videos. Go to the details of one of your existing videos. On the right side, scroll down and select the end screen button here. And it will take you to the same place where you can add an end screen. However, after you add an end screen, they will appear here, but you won't have a template. If you want to have an end screen template like this one you see here, then go to Canva, type YouTube end screen, and Canva gives you a variety of end screens. You can use them or customize them for your videos. And if you want to learn more about how to create an end screen template, then we're gonna talk about it in my next video. And please don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video helpful.